Hello, in this video, I am going to demonstrate how to use Flow to send custom messages uh, from a file that is being saved in Excel online. And you can pull data from that Excel online and then use that data to send email out uh, to a whole bunch of people. This is very similar to how mail merge works. Uh, in Microsoft Word. So if you've used mail margin in Microsoft Word before, this is something similar. And this is even better because you don't have to sit in front of your computer to run this, uh, unlike mail march where you have to process everything and it's a one-time activity. You could uh, schedule this to run on a specific schedule rather than just a one-time activity. For you to do this, you need three things. You need Outlook, you need OneDrive, Excel, and also Power Automate, which is Flow. I'm going to be using Excel online because for this to work, that file needs to be saved in OneDrive, and everything that you saved in OneDrive is available online in Excel online. And it also has to be an actual Excel file, not CSV. So in this case, <clears throat> let's go ahead and, and get started. So if you look at the client tab over here, I already made a worksheet which has the information that I want to use uh, to process this flow. So what I want to happen with this flow is I want to be able to send email to John, Mike, and Julie right over here using their email addresses, which is already saved in the spreadsheets. Now, the uh, reason why you might want to do this is maybe to send bill reminder uh, to show the due dates on a bill. You can do a whole lot of things with this um, as long as you have the Excel file saved inside OneDrive. So in order to get started, what I'm going to do is go to Flow one, once again and go to Create Flow. And I want a scheduled flow. So I'm going to call this uh, Bill Reminder. And I'm going to say I want to start sending this out starting Wednesday at 10 a.m. and I'm going to repeat it every week and except Saturday and Sunday and I'm going to click create. So that's the first step. Second step is now pulling the file that we've already saved in OneDrive which will be the client uh, file that I opened earlier, this file. One other thing that I, I forgot to mention is that you also need to make sure that your data is in table format. So what do I mean by that? If you have just ordinary data, let's say, copy and paste this, this is not a table. Um, for you to make it a table, you need to go here, insert table and make sure you uh, select all the entries that you want to select. So, but I'm going to delete this for now. So now we're back to just uh, three entries uh, that we have here. This is the file that I'm, I'm going to use for my flow. So I'm going to tell flow that I'm going to use Excel online for business. The action here is that I would like to uh, pull the list of rows inside a table. So list rows present in a table will be the action that we're going to select. And I'm going to select OneDrive here as my location. And the document library uh, is going to be in my OneDrive and uh, it is in the default folder. So I'm going to scroll the way down until I find uh, clients here. So you have to scroll to whatever folder that you save this at. And this also work with like SQL database. So if you have a SQL database, especially online SQL database like Azure, you can do the same thing with this. So next thing is to select the table and the table is table one. Uh, if you go back to the client and you, you know, go and check the table name. You can see that the table name right here is table one. So this is the same table one that I'm selecting here. So 
next step. The next thing we're going to do is go through each of these rows that we have here, row two, three, four. And we're going to use the email colon to send email out to every single one of these guys. So let's go back here and select control. And under control, you want to select apply to each. This will simply apply whatever action you want to do to each row in that table. So over here, you're going to select value because you want to get the value first and then go through the content, you know, take action on those values. So next thing is to actually send the email. So we already got the value of each of the of the rows in the table. So now we're going to add an action to actually send email. So in this case, just type Outlook in the box and select Office 365 Outlook. And we're going to select that we want to create an email. So send an email. I can reference anything in the table inside his email, essentially. So this is the beauty of this. Uh, now we have the tool field. The tool field is going to be a dynamic content. It's going to, it's, so we're going to go to add dynamic content and it already present to us email from the client list. Remember we name our header email. So we select email. So this is what we want to do for tool field. And the next thing in the subject, so let's, let's call this bill uh, reminder or something like that. And now in the body, I can say hi and actually reference the name portion of the colon. So I'm going to say I name. In this case, this corresponds to the name colon in this client um, uh, file that we're using. So I'm going to put a comment there and I'm going to say, hi, name. Um, this is a reminder that your bill is due at due date. So I'm going to put the due date in there and I'm going to say, uh, thank you. And put my signature. And I'm done. Now I could do a lot of fancy, fancy things with this if I wanted to. I could go to HTML tag and add uh, HTML tag to this. I can add something like uh, strong uh, here and also strong here to make it bold. And I could do the same thing also for these as well. So I'm going to add strong here and close here as well. So if we go back to this side, uh, you won't see all that here right now, but uh, once we send it out, you should be able to see the name bolded and also the due date bolded as well. So let's go ahead and click save on this. Now that it's saved, we're now going to do a test. I'm going to say I'll perform the trigger action. Click save and test. Now that that is done, the next thing for us to do is to run the flow. So we're going to run the flow. So the flow is running and it's done now. So, so this is the email that got sent out uh, once we run our flow. And as you can see, uh, you can see the name be highlighted and personalized to Julie here. And also the due date also show as we have it inside our uh, file. So this is how you will do it if you want to pull a list from an Excel file and you want to send it out. It's the same concept for if you have 
a SQL Server, some database that you need to connect to, or even if you have Microsoft Forms. So let's say uh, you actually send out a survey, for example, using uh, Microsoft Forms, and you want people that fill out that survey to automatically receive a specific response, right? So let's say, for example, I want anybody that filled this form out to automatically receive a response, uh, a customized response. You could do the same thing also with Flow. Uh, you just go in there, you know, select that you want to pull the data form and then read the data like I did uh, in my own case where I listed the tables, uh, the rows in the table, and then uh, loop through it with the for each loop that I applied again in my, uh, in, in my own situation here, this apply to each and uh, customize the email however you want based on the information you receive from Microsoft Forms. In the past, you will have to write a script to do something like this, but with Flow, you don't have to. You can simply just come in here and make everything work for you. That's all I have now, and uh, have a great day.